Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna ceramic coat Adam's Porsche 996 Turbo. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. That is Adam. That is his Porsche. That is my garage. And that in his hands is a kit of the glide coat ceramic coating. So we're gonna actually do a full wash clay bar polish and then most importantly we're going to ceramic coat his porsche 911 turbo because well this thing needs some love the paint's in pretty good shape though that's the good news the paint's pretty good considering how old it is considering yeah considering it's a 2003 three three so paint's in good shape so we're only gonna do a light polish but it really needs to be protected so that's why we've got the ceramic coating kit from glide coat which is for sale on my website normal guys Super our website com. You know, my does not mean exclusive. It could mean both of us. It didn't say mine alone, mine solo. Fine. It's on our website. It's on the website. There you go. Normalguysupercar.com. <laughs> Thanks for the correction, Adam. I'm working on it. Hey, you know what? It's been five years of solo flying. It's hard to undo that overnight. Anyway, go to normalguysupercar.com. Go to normalguysupercar.com. We do appreciate when you guys support us. It's literally our job. So yep. thank you very much. And anyway, um, let's get at it because it's gonna get hot quick. So we wanna get this car washed real quick and then get it into the garage so we can enjoy the glorious air conditioning. And actually you don't wanna ceramic coat these out in the sunlight anyway, and you don't want the paint to be super hot. So it's important that we actually get it in fairly quickly. So real quick before we get started, here's what's in the ceramic coating kit from Glide Coat. So you open it up, it's got a couple of micro, microfiber towels, it's got a nice set of gloves, some applicator pads, and of course the actual ceramic coating and some wipe. This is basically just like rubbing alcohol. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first wash the car, then we're gonna uh, go over it with a clay bar mitt then we're gonna polish it, and then after we polish it, we're gonna use this surface wipe because this will basically make sure that there are zero contaminants on the paint. We don't want a ceramic coat in the paint because well then you basically are making that dirt permanent, <laughs> or at least semi-permanent. So then we'll put on the ceramic coating and let it cure, and then his car should be ready to rock for a good two to three years. So that's why I'm actually switching to this stuff. You know, I've been using some other stuff for my DIY and I wanted to find one that lasts a little longer and basically costs about the same. So this is basically the same price as some of the comp competition, but it lasts two to three years, which for a DIY coating is phenomenal. So usually to get three plus years of duration, you need to go to all the way to like the professional grade stuff where they won't sell it to you unless you have some sort of training or whatever. So this is about as good as it gets for DIY. So Adam's just doing the rinse, then we're gonna wash it with some soap. And actually we're gonna be using another Glide Coat product in this video, we're gonna be using their Nano Polish. So that's what we're gonna use when we actually get to the polishing stage. I don't have their soap with me right now, it's at Ven's house because we left it there with the boat, but they actually have a soap. So we're gonna use that next time. But all right, there you can see, get it nice and foamy so we can get it nice and clean. Okay, so we just got it washed and rinsed, so it's nice and clean. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use a clay bar mitt. So before you dry the car, it's the best time to use this, is what I found. So you basically keep a bucket of soapy water. So we're gonna use the soapy water and the clay bar mitt. We're gonna keep it nice and lubricated and we're gonna go over all the car real quick just to remove any sort of contaminants and imperfections in the paint. This will make sure that we're not like polishing in a big rock or a chunk of debris. All right, Adam's taking care of the clay bar. And once he's done, we're gonna use the No Spots Pro to do our rinse. So I've turned it on. Again, this is just a big deionization unit. I do sell these as well on my website. So all of these Glide Coat products and the No Spots Pro can be found in the garage section on the website, normalguysupercar.com. The website, normalguysupercar.com. Okay, so we just finished rinsing it after the clay bar and i wanted to kind of show you so this thing basically has no form of paint protection left on it the wax or whatever was the last thing on this is effectively gone so you can tell because the water just kind of looks like a sheet there is no beating up at all the windshield is a little better and then actually the side windows he said they had some wax on it you can see that there are little beads of water a little bit so the windows still have it the rear window you can see lots of beads of water so 
yeah, see it's still beating up there, but like look at the, the roof just looks like a sheet. So we don't want that, that actually is not good. So what we're gonna do now is uh, dry it, get it in there, polish, and then we're gonna start ceramic coating. Okay, YouTube, it is dried now. So next step is we're gonna do a fairly light polishing on this car. So like I said, the paint's actually in pretty good condition. So, you know, you can't really see too bad of swirl marks if we zoom in. Yeah, I mean, there's some, but it's actually in pretty good shape. So we just kinda wanna give it a nice once over to bring out maybe a little bit more gloss and shine in it. Maybe to remove some of the imperfections. So like I can see a imperfection right there that probably will come out with a polishing. So again, we're gonna be using the Glide Coat Nano Polish. So that is kind of like their finishing polish. So we're gonna do it with a pretty light foam pad. So we're not gonna go to town on this thing. We're not trying to do a heavy cut. We're not trying to like remove a bunch of layers or anything. So it's just gonna look a little bit better is the goal here, not to make it look perfect. And then we'll move on to wiping the surface, prepping it, and then finally going on to the actual ceramic coating. <music> Okay, so we just finished up polishing the car and then we also, while Adam was finishing polishing, I was going over it with the surface wipe, which is basically just making sure that there's zero contaminants. So this car is extremely clean. And I think I wanna emphasize the importance of doing something like that because the rags, even though this was like the third time passing over the car with rags and polishes and whatever, it would still find dirt. So my rags would still get dirty. So it's really important to do that. Uh, a couple of quick notes before we start ceramic coating. Uh, first of all, Moses is here to help us. Thank you, Mo, for getting in our way. Uh, second of all, we're gonna ceramic coat basically everything. So we're gonna ceramic coat the paint, we're gonna ceramic coat the glass, we're gonna ceramic coat the wheels, we're gonna ceramic coat everything. Basically, that's the cool thing about ceramic coating is you can use it on most things. So, I mean, certain things you can't, but pretty much most everything. So. The cool thing is when you ceramic coat your glass, it makes it so it's easier to see. And when it's raining, like water just comes right off. You don't even sometimes need the windshield wipers if you're going fast enough. We're gonna probably try and do two coats at least on the paint. And uh, we're gonna do everything we can to get as much coverage as we can on everything. Okay, so here's how you apply it. You take these little applicators that come in the kit. And first of all, you, you wanna wear gloves. So we're gonna be wearing gloves. And you put about a dime sized little drop on it and then you do it in streaks. So you go straight up and down. You don't like go swirling everywhere. And the reason you do that is because you kind of want to make sure that you're not like wasting a bunch of it. You just kind of want to go and make sure you got full coverage. Then you immediately wipe it down. And that's kind of it. So then you let it cure for about a day and then you're ready to rock and roll. We were laughing because when you put the stuff on, it kind of sounds like you're killing a cat. <laughs> it makes a great squealing sound. <laughs> Good news is it actually is super easy. So it applies super, super easy, comes off super easy. So long as you follow instructions and you buff it off immediately. If you were to let this stuff harden and then try and take it off, it is really, really, really difficult to take off. Do exactly what he just did. See, he just put it on, immediately polishes it off, and you kind of just buff and buff and buff until you see it just disappear. And you should feel the the rag should get super slick, like it'll just glide right over the paint. So that's how you know when it's kind of like done right, is it just like, it's super slick. So I mean like right here, touching this, it's like super slick, it's awesome. Got it all ceramic coated. Uh, I think we have enough left. So that bottle down to about maybe a quarter left or so, a little bit less than a quarter left. But to be fair, we went 
thick yeah we on went it. thick on thick. it and uh we also did all the glass and we did all the wheels and i want to point that out uh, because I think that's actually one of the things that is really important is do your wheels and save yourself so much time later. By doing the wheels, all of the brake dust washes off so much easier and they stay a lot cleaner. It's really, really nice. So do that for sure. But we're going to probably take that last little bit and do a second coat on the front of the car where, where it needs it the most and probably on the roof and any basically like all the flat surfaces that are going to get beat up by the sun the most because that's kind of where uh you know the stuff gets uh where well, it doesn't last as long usually like the sides and everything last a lot longer so i think that's probably a good use of the last few drops moses do you approve maybe all right youtube that's it we didn't quite get two layers on the center so uh, again we did kind of a heavy coat what i would say is one bottle is sufficient for i would say most cars you probably are gonna need two bottles if you're doing like a big pickup truck um, not that you'd use two full bottles, you'd probably need like a bottle and a half is my guess. But that's it. We got this sucker nice and ceramic coated. So now it needs to cure for about 24 hours before you let it get water. And you also don't want to like keep it out in the sun for very long for those 24 hours. So we're going to put it, he's going to drive it home, put it in his garage, let it sit for about 24 hours and then it should be nice and cured. And then it's going to give him about two years of protection. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Two to three years. And actually that didn't take us too long. Granted, we had two people working on it, but it's, yeah. uh, that was about three, four hours of work, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, about three hours. Three hours with two people, not too bad. So probably double it-ish for one person, six-ish hours. That's about right. So again, if you guys are interested in buying some of the Glide Coat ceramic coating, it is on our website in the garage section. So go check that out. It is really good stuff. I'm a big fan of it. And that's why I started selling it now is because I want something that lasts a little bit longer than the old stuff I was using. So this is what I recommend now. So again, go to normalguyssupercar.com, use the code NGS10, it'll take off 10% your order. If you haven't already, go check out the Normal Guy Supercar Devaluation Tour of Colorado is coming up September 26th through October 2nd, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. You can find out more information about that at ngsc.me slash Colorado 2021. And finally, those of you that are a part of Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, feel free to follow us on those. We're trying to get more people on those. So it's Normal Guy Supercar, all one word for Instagram, Normal Guy Super C for Twitter, and it's the Normal Guy Supercar Facebook page. So check us out on all of those things. We do appreciate for all of you that are following us. And of course, for all of you subscribing and watching all these videos, thank you so much. We genuinely do appreciate it. This is our livelihood, so thank you so much for keeping us going. But you guys are amazing. We have lots of car stuff coming soon, including the 355 Project Cars. So we'll be working on that some more. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, Mo. We're done. Mo, Mo. We're done. You want to go in? Okay. Tell us, what do you think of the ceramic coating, Mo? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. He's very, like, confused. By He's not sure about that. Hey, no, no eating it. <laughs> <laughs>